fuck up like so, that. I'm, oh yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm fucked up right here waiting on you. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Grace. All right. Driver. Good morning, Grace. How's it going? It's going. We're running late, but we all do this. Yeah, so let's get it. So, Grace, how long have you been a bus driver for uh, with us? I started originally in 1999. 1999. And I got laid off in 2004 with a big layoff. Okay. And um, I came back in 2019. Yeah. So, we, as you see, we're up and out early, uh, no matter what the weather. That's right. Postman. And yeah, we, we appreciate that. Like, yeah, we, our scholars couldn't, couldn't get to school without you. So from your perspective, tell me what are we getting right with transportation and then what are we getting wrong? Uh, how about we start with the wrong? Okay, yep, I'm, I'm here for it. And you can be honest. We need, more, we need monitors on these buses to assist us with these children. Okay. We're in a different age and a different time and the children are different. We need help. We wear a lot of hats as bus drivers. Yeah. We're more than just bus drivers. And we can't see everything that goes on on these buses. Yeah. Um, and we need help. We yeah. need help. The cameras are fine, but another actual body there to assist would make things a lot better. The thing is, if a children's back there eating a sausage and I go over a bump and it gets lost in the door, how am I going to know that? Yeah, you're right. How am I supposed, where am I supposed to pull over at and save this child? Yep. You know, which also comes into play for people having CPR training as well. Yep. But how, how can you expect a driver to do that? Oh uh, yeah, what else? What else? I like I like the fact that it's it, it, uh, where the parents can check the buses. Okay. I think that's a good thing. Good morning, Majesty. Do you know who I am? You're like, no. I'm Dr. Morgan. I'm your superintendent, the CEO. From your perspective, what do you like about the bus? And then tell me what are some things that can change. How about the bus that you just can sit and enjoy the ride? So you love to just sit and enjoy the ride. Yeah. What do you not like? Oh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes that happens, yeah. Is it because sometimes students are not acting right? No, that's right. And I, you know, that's another issue. I think we should know what the specifics are about a student. Yeah. We need to know this because we're driving them. I need to know who's behind me. Exactly. And no. they don't always give us that information. You guys have access to the IEP? No, we should. We started doing, in Indianapolis, we had started doing that, giving some of our bus drivers access to the IEP because some students got escalated by, like, you know, sometimes noise. somebody, yeah, noise. People or, around. And, yep, or if you say something firm to them. And if a bus driver, if you don't know that, you can be escalating this. Uh, we don't know what then, we're doing. Exactly. So we're saying the same thing. We need to know who we are driving because you gotta remember, I gotta look forward. I yep. can't keep looking you in this mirror back. every five minutes. Yeah. You know, and if I have an accident, guess who they're gonna blame? They're gonna blame me. Yeah. I wanna keep me safe. Yeah. Yeah, I wanna keep me safe. Yep. Cause I got a family that wants me to come home. That's right. That's uh, right. But I also wanna keep these children that's safe. That's that's safe. Right. And that, that, that's the reward and, and the goal. Yep. All in one. Just walk me through the through the daily routine and what you guys do. So, is this also the route you ride in the morning as well? Yes. Okay. Just like the opposite. Way. The opposite way. And uh, same thing for you. The route. Okay. What um what neighborhoods are you guys in? Uh, I live in the Hub Hub Lake Park area. And then what about you? I live in Euclid. You I live in Euclid. Euclid. Okay. Yeah. Oh man, so commute. For RTA, what is that about? Commute time. Is it about 30 minutes to get to my um, It's like an hour. An hour, okay. An hour. And then what about for you? About 45 minutes. 45 minutes, okay. Uh, does, does RTA have us a bus? Does the bus usually run on time yeah. for you guys? Okay. Pretty, pretty good. It's good. So, one of the things I'm trying to find out, and I've been asking students, um, what is, so it's two questions. What is something great about riding the bus to get you to school, this bus? Um, and then what is the challenge that you have? 
really convenient because it runs all I can't even get more so I can even if I'm leaving the school I can still make it so I don't have to worry about having to bother my mom and see me another quick question for you guys um, has there ever been anything challenging that's happened either that you've witnessed on the bus or that's happened to you one of my friends was telling me in a while was a time when she thought she was getting followed off the bus. Yeah, man, she was like really scared, so she ended up FaceTiming me to make sure that nothing was happening. And that yeah, was pretty much like the only thing. When that happened, did she feel like she could report it to the school or that there was somebody at the district that they were supporting with that? Uh, no, because she was already back on her side of town. She also was. I think this is where uh, it ends. I, I truly appreciate you guys showing me this route, you know, and we've been along this journey, so it's always a